You've made it over halfway in today's lesson. This third video demonstrates the proper stroke order of the final katakana characters. After this video, there will be no more characters to learn. There are more syllables, but no more characters. So much for easy. Ne is four strokes and one of the most difficult katakana characters. The first stroke is the short stroke on the top. It stops. The second stroke is our fu stroke, but it's narrower than usual. The third stroke is the vertical stroke at the bottom. And the fourth stroke starts at about the same place as the third, but it slants down to the right before it stops. So let's try these four strokes together. Stroke one across the top. Stroke two is that narrow who stroke. Stroke three is vertical, it goes down. And stroke four slants down to the right. Ne. I remember this character by reminding myself that I never go to church to hear the sermons. Now back to two strokes for me. The first stroke is the no stroke. And the second stroke crosses the first stroke, much like the second stroke of nu. So all together now, stroke one is the no stroke, stroke two crosses it, me. To remember this, just think of Mexico and the emperor's new wall. It should look familiar, as it looks very much like its hiragana counterpart. The stroke order is also the same. The first stroke is on the left and it stops. And the final stroke of all the katakana characters is the stroke that goes down the right and curves slightly to the left as it comes to a tail. So let's try these two strokes together. Stroke one and stroke two, the final stroke, and we have ri. You can easily remember this by thinking of reeds in a river. Okay, so we are done. This is the katakana table, and we know every last character. Now let's also add in, because we learned this earlier, the chompu and the sokuo. This is a total of 48 characters. But wait, there are a few more characters. Remember the Han Dakuten and Dakuten table? It has 25 characters and we know them all too. <gasps> but wait, we're not done. Boom. We have also learned to read and write the palatal symbols, or the kogayon in Japanese. That's a mere 36 more syllables in total. We have 109 syllables. I hope you have kept up well. Next lesson, you will learn another 24 syllables, but no more characters. Before we move on, Let's, of course, address some of the things that we've noticed. I did mention earlier that the katakana and hiragana ri look a lot alike. But if you take out the vertical stroke, so do the katakana and hiragana ko. And, of course, with a simple stroke left out, se and se also look a lot alike. Hopefully that will make these characters easier to remember. But now let's look at a whole list of characters that are often confused. There's tsu and shi, so and n, and no. These five characters are mere strokes or stroke directions away from total confusion. Please be careful with the stroke count, stroke order, and directions of the strokes. With that, Answer a few questions and come back for the fourth and final video of today's lesson.